And in previous years, people would be setting alarms tonight to wake up nice and early for Black Friday deals tomorrow. But nowadays, there's not too much camping going on outside the store to get in first. But that doesn't mean people won't be out shopping tomorrow in force. Fox 10's Lauren Clark joins us live now to explain. Lauren. <laughs> hey there, Christina. Yeah, you can take a look at this parking lot. It's completely abandoned at this Target. Five, ten years ago, a lot of people would be out here already getting ready for those morning big deals. Now, Black Friday is still expected to be the largest shopping day of the year. The National Retailers Federation does expect around 130 people will be shopping both in person and online. But the habits surrounding Black Friday shopping have definitely changed throughout the years. It used to be a holiday staple. Probably have 780 people in line outside. Large winding lines. We did have a big tent out here and we had a heater in there. And a flood of shoppers eager to get their hands on the biggest deals. But now it's Thanksgiving evening, the start of Black Friday, 5, 10, 20 years ago. This parking lot right here would be absolutely stuffed, full of people ready to go inside to get the best deals possible. But tonight, if you look around, it's abandoned. It used to be that it was like a, a free for all, right? And now look, it's empty. John says he's noticed a change in the past few years. So has Brian, who several years ago would be standing in line this very evening. When the TVs first came out, the 720p, but that was 2020, 2006, 2008. But now he does all of his holiday shopping from his computer. I can get whatever I want. I'm happy to deliver it when I want. And while many stores had closed their doors as consumer shopping habits evolve, some businesses remained open as a holiday tradition. For me, I've always done it on Thanksgiving with my family. As movie theaters remained open for business. See the scary Thanksgiving movie? Since it's Thanksgiving. And retailers are still looking to score big, though. In fact, industry experts are expecting around $9 billion total in sales over November and December. Reporting live here in Phoenix, Lauren Clark, Fox 10 News.